Hello friends, I am Karuna Yadav, Assistant Professor Biani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of Guru KPO. Today here I am to discuss the topic of numerical analysis that is Gauss-Seidel method. Gauss-Seidel method is a method to find the solutions of linear equations. In this method we will be given three equations, three linear equations, we know uh, we call them as system of linear equations. First of all what we have to do is we will arrange these equations in the form like the coefficient of x1 should be of the highest order then the x coefficient of x2 should be highest and the last equation should have the coefficient of x3 as the highest. Then after we will start with the question by arranging the equations in the form we will arrange the equation as x1 is equals to, we will take x1 here and put all the elements to the right hand side. As it is we will do for the x2 variable, x2 will be put on the left side and all the variables will be put on the right side. As it is for the third case also. So now we have our equations in the form x1 is equals to 1 upon 10, 44 minus x2 minus 2x3 x2 is equals to 1 upon 10, 51 minus 2x1 minus x3. x3 is equals to 1 upon 10, 61 minus x1 minus 2x2. Now we'll start our uh, question by taking the initial approximations. We'll take initial approximations as x1 is equals to x2 equals to x3 is equals to 0. So we have our initial approximations as 0. Now we can see that x1 gives us 4.4 by substituting the values of x2 and x3 is equals to 0 which we have taken as our initial approximations. Now to find out the x2 we will have x1 as 4.4 and we will take x3 is equals to 0. So in this way we will find out our x2 and to find out x3 we have all our variables x1 that is equals to 4.4 x2 is equals to 4.22. So we will substitute the values of x1 and x2 which we have just find out in the above. Now we get x1, x2 and x3 as our initial approximations for the next iteration. So in our second iteration we will use x1 is equals to 4.4 and we will find out the new x1 and use x2 is equals to 4.22 and find out our next new for x2 and same as x3. We continue this process until and unless we find out the two iterations in which x1, x2 and x3 gives the same value. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For further details log on to our official website www.gurukpo.com.